What does the hood have to do with the honest conversation? Look at you so touched. Mm. They're nice. Mm. Hmm, it looks like some things are happening under that shit. Hey, hey you guys, last night was a movie. <laughs> hey, okay guys, so in this video, I am going to be spilling the tea. Hey, so many things happened last night and you guys know i come with a full story i'm gonna be giving you the full gist of what happened last night between gash one and tattoo and guys also what went down between Mpo and temba you guys you definitely want to stick around till the very end because i'm gonna be spilling all the tea <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by your family member thank you so much for always coming back here if you haven't subscribed already please can you just click on that red subscribe button right now so that you can become a part of this community don't forget to turn on the post notification bell as this will always help you get a lot of my video every time i share new content guys with that said let's get into the gist already because it's getting hot in here <laughs> so guys i mean there were so very there were so many interesting sceneries um in biggie's house last night there were so many interesting scenes mm. well you know how i do it in this channel i always make sure that i take you from the last video and so i'm gonna be moving forward from the last video now you guys remember that the last video i shared i talked about tato and gashwan you know concluding on their wedding rings and how they were going to be inscribing their names on it and all that kind of thing you guys they prepared dinner they had dinner and guys some people decided that it wasn't still party over like decided to continue with the party i mean we've been seeing this um on previous saturday night parties where after the party you know this guy's just going to the jacuzzi and then maybe um pick it up from there so this time you guys i think themba is seriously missing venus like he's seriously missing like not having a partner that would just you know be with him and just drive with him so you guys know that yesterday there was this um like group hangout that happened amongst terry Bo, and themba and guys and of course it's Tamar, and of course there was a continuation of that so we literally saw um them dance their way through the house and then landed in the garden and that was where themba just literally left them and hopped into the jacuzzi he was just feeding himself Bo started singing happy birthday once more to her son and guys themba was there you know wait I didn't even tell you the spots. Guys, Libo tools, um and and gosh and sorry and Po were there sitting down. Po was singing happy birthday. Sister Mara was singing happy birthday. Themba was singing happy birthday from the jacuzzi. And guys, I mean tools clearly looked happy for Po, but you guys, I mean Libo was just stone cold. Libo didn't even bother to like bait an eyelid he didn't even act like he was hearing what they were saying i was like hey libo you don't have to be this cold come on you guys are still house sweet after all so it was just temba for me singing from the jacuzzi and i was like oh my gosh this is such a nice guy and you know who was really like very happy and temba i think continued the conversation from then she was like oh my god i know you must be very happy and she said she is you know and then Pooh went and sat beside the jacuzzi where temba was you know having his time and then guys sister mara decided to hop into the jacuzzi like the way she was dressed just the way she was dressed like she moved inside <laughs> so i don't know what sister mara's plans were but it was just more like okay let's just flirt around and all that kind of thing and guys um afterwards we kind of noticed um you know those housemates kind of left the pool and all that and all that and then they went to the shower you guys now i'm i don't i'm still trying to get my hand around what happened in the shower because clearly after the shower hour there was this heated conversation that was really going on between Mpo and Themba and Themba was clearly angry you guys know for a while now Themba has been running after Mpo and Mpo has been running away and then I don't know, but it looks like these two guys know they are playing a game at each other. And Themba 
literally snapped at him. He was like, he was livid. He was angry over something. And I'm very sure, I am very sure my guts of my guts, my mind of my mind, my heart of my heart is telling me that one of the reasons Temba is actually livid with Tumpo is probably because Tumpo maybe refused to get intimate with him. Because you guys know Temba loves intimacy like crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so before all your all um, Femba's fans come for my head, you guys know your guy is a player. And hey, I'm cool with it. I love the vibe. Um, but somehow, somehow, clearly, I think Mpo has been very cautious with Themba. And I think it kind of made him, like, pissed him off a bit. Because we clearly heard him say, you know what, Mpo, you're a witch. Don't talk to me. Don't something like Mpo, you're evil. So maybe for Temba, he feels like, oh my God, Mpo is turning him on. Mpo is like, you know, acting like he's she's ready to get down. And then the next minute she's running away. So I mean, I literally understand Temba's anger right now <laughs> because you know Mpo can play. <laughs> she can play with some people's hearts sometimes when she wants to. Um so you know, we clearly heard Temba say you're evil. We clearly heard some Temba calling out on Sister Mara. Sister Mara, you're going to be my partner. And I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> Afterwards, anyway, we had um, this very interesting remark from poor to Temba. I don't know if Temba heard it, but guys, listen up to what Upo said. You act to like you're a liver. Now, from that conversation, from that statement, who was literally saying to them, but hey, don't be like another Libo. Don't be Libo here. Don't stop acting like Libo here. Like, I mean, you guys, it didn't come out of my mouth. I'm just saying it the way it is. And in my head, I'm like, hey, what's that? It's don't be Libo. I mean, it's Libo... Like Libo and Temba, are they acting all the same way now? I don't know, but it was just quite funny. Um, Temba was literally angry, and you know he went as far as saying, "You know what? You can't ride me. Um, I can't let you control me. You know that kind of conversation." And you know he kept saying that he was from the hood, and of course, like I'm from the hole. If you're from the hood, and it was just very funny watching these guys argue back and forth, back and forth. And guys, literally at the end of the day, um, Paul promised that he was going to, she was going to be making hot chocolate for Temba the next morning. You know, Temba kind of left. I think that was just their episode. That was the end of their episode. It was just some cool for me laughing and probably getting amused um, at how Temba was probably acting or reacting to whatever she was doing to him because clearly. Bo has been playing a game on Themba. And Themba is really not getting or finding this funny at all. Now, you guys, moving to the lovebirds, we actually saw Gashwan and Tattoo. Hey! The massages last night was crazy. My goodness. Those massages, those hands did work a lot of magic. Like, guys, you literally felt, I could feel what was happening with Tattoo's body. Hey! I mean, I can just imagine that massage. So it was quite a deep massage between Tattoo and and Gashwan. And I was like, God, you know what? I mean, I was like, gosh, there's no way after this massage, some things ain't gonna happen. Because clearly, clearly, from the massager to the massagee, <laughs> there was built up tension. We could tell that there was some, there was some like erotic vibes in the air. So guys, afterwards, we actually saw, you know, when you get this massage and then you say, oh God, I'm pressed. I'm very sure baby girl was honey because she said she was going to go to the bathroom. She went, came back and you guys, I mean, we literally saw this guys. We literally saw gash one like breathing down on, on, on that toe. And for some reason, for some very annoying reason, the camera guy decided not to give us a pleasure, the viewing pleasure of understanding what was happening with Gashwan and Tato. But guys, I mean, we camera moved to Libo's face, but we could hear Gashwan's breath. And I'm like, hey, what kind of wickedness is this? Oh my goodness, that camera guy didn't do us. He did a disservice to us. He, he gave, he just literally took food away from our mouth like i was so livid and for some reason i'm gonna tell you guys gash one is an expert when it comes to hiding whatever he's doing under the sheet like guys even with the yoli episode you guys notice that gash one was always very like you will literally never know what is happening with gash one under the, under the sheets except you just use your imagination use your thoughts and just conclude but literally this guy has a way of like hiding every single details it wasn't different from this night's episode like 
we literally saw gas from covering everything up. We couldn't tell if it was fingering. We couldn't tell if it was penetration. Hey, and I was so mad. I was so, so mad. But anywho, I believe, I think something went down last night. Hey, you guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Did Tato and Gashon really get down last night? Because eh, with those breaths, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I mean, the camera just returned when they were almost done. And I'm like, hey, what kind of camera guys are this? Why are these guys hiding this kind of premium content from us? I was mad. But hey, it is what it is, guys. We're very sure a lot of things went down. And hey, we're all here. We're going to be checking out for their vibes today. And whatever it is, I'm going to be coming back here to tell you guys what's up in Vicky's house. You guys, thank you so much for watch time. I'm going to be seeing you guys very soon on another update on the Big Brother and Zanzi show. You guys, catch you up later. Ciao, ciao.